Now, eyewitness to the Olympics. Oh, it is epic. 6.43. We're back on sunrise because the Winter Olympics start tonight right here on Channel 13. But our Carlos Diaz has been on the ground in South Korea for almost a week now. And Carlos really finding out uh, <laughs> that there are several cultural differences, which you would expect, between Indiana and South Korea. And he joins us from Pyeongchang this morning. Hey, Carlos. Good morning, Julia. Let me first say that the South Korean people here have been amazing, been so hospitable. We have learned some cultural differences. Of course, bowing takes the place of a handshake, you know, among strangers. Uh, and you don't want to hug a stranger. Actually, hugging a stranger is seen to be insulting, which is tough for me because I'm Spanish. You know, we hug a lot. We're Hoosiers. We hug a lot. That is a big time no no here. And I also found out that there's a big controversy when it comes to Coca Cola. Watch this. We've got a major dilemma. Coke and Coke Zero, but you can't tell them apart. What am I holding in my hand right here? Two bottles of Coca-Cola. No, I'm not. It's one Coke and one Coke Zero. Oh, I see. I didn't notice. I apologize. You could easily buy the wrong one. You work for Coke. Yes. So do you see the problem here? They, yes. they look too similar. They, you're right. They do. It's too confusing oh, here. Oh, yes, it's right. So that right there, you have to look at that to make sure that it's like a Diet Coke. It's not obvious like it is back home. That's right. for sure. After several attempts to interview the big white bear, you know, the boss, apparently, he's in hibernation on the topic. So, yeah, as you can see, guys, the, the labels are almost exactly the same, except for this little black bar you have at the top. And by the way, if you love Diet Coke over Coke Zero, they don't have Diet Coke here. It's just Coke Zero. My producer, Cindy, is freaking out. She may lose her mind over the next three weeks, guys. How will she live? Uh, Carlos, we've got to talk about what's coming up tonight. 8 o'clock right here on Channel 13. What can we expect? Well, tonight, guys, the games get going. We are so excited, and we've got some major top-line talent tonight to talk about. Nathan Chen, one of our major headliners. You're going to be watching figure skating beginning at 8 p.m. tonight. Competition kicks off with metal favorite Nathan Chen. He's done some incredible things on the ice, and he's sure to wow the worldwide crowd tonight. The figure skating team event, men's short program, and pair skating tonight, 8 o'clock, live right here on Channel 13. And when you watch the opening ceremony tomorrow night, leading the U.S. athletes is four-time Olympian Aaron Hamlin. Hamlin's teammates picked the world champion loser, not Hoosier, loser to be a flag bearer. Hamlin made history in Sochi when she won a bronze medal. And you're going to know who Hamlin is tomorrow because her Ralph Lauren jacket is going to have lights on it. And uh, by the way, I have seen rehearsals for the opening ceremony. Let me just say there are a lot of lights for the opening ceremony. It is spectacular. You don't want to miss, miss that tomorrow night right here on Channel 13. And, of course, Nick Gepper is going to be walking. Indiana's own Nick Gepper is going to be walking with Team USA tomorrow for the opening ceremony. He won bronze in Sochi four years ago. He's going to be going for the gold this year right here in Pyeongchang in slope-style skiing. Guys.